Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install Mosquinto server on Raspberry Pi 3. Now before we dive into the installation part of Mosquinto server on Raspberry Pi 3, let us first of all understand what is meant by Mosquinto. Now you can see that I have already opened the official website of Mosquinto that is HTTPS Mosquinto.org. Now it says Eclipse Mosquinto is an open source EPL oblique EDL licensed message broker that implements MQTT protocol versions 3.1 and 3.11. Mosquinto provides a lightweight, powerful method of carrying out messaging using a published subscribe model. This makes it suitable for Internet of Things messaging such as low power sensors or mobile devices, such as phones, embedded computers or microcontrollers like the Arduino. So let us first of all also understand what is meant by MQTT protocol. MQTT, formerly known as MQ Telemetry Transport, is an ISO standard published subscribe based lightweight messaging protocol for use on the top of TCP IP protocol. It is designed for connections with remote locations where a small code footprint is required or the network bandwidth is limited. The published subscribe messaging pattern requires a message broker. The broker is responsible for distributing messages to interested clients based on the topic of a message. Andy Stanford Clark and Arlen Nepper of Cyrus Link Solutions authored the first version of the protocol in 1999. The specification doesn't specify the meaning of small code footprint or the meaning of limited network bandwidth, thus the protocol availability for use depends on the context. MQTTSN is a variation of the main protocol aimed at embedded devices on non-TCP IP networks such as Zigbee. Historically, the MQ in MQTT came in from IBM MQ series messaging queuing protocol line which means that is messaging queuing telemetry transport is the full form of MQTT protocol which is used by Mosquinto server. So alternative protocols include the advanced messaging queuing protocol, the IETF constrained application protocol, XMPP and web application messaging protocol. MQTT defines methods to indicate the desired action to be performed on the identified resource, what this resource represents, whether pre-existing data or data that is generated dynamically depends on the implementation of the server. Often the resource corresponds to a file or the output of an executable residing on the server, connect, disconnect, subscribe, unsubscribe, publish. Now if you want to understand more regarding real world applications, MQTT is designed to support wireless networks with varying level of latency due to occasional bandwidth constraints or unreliable connections. There are several projects that implement MQTT. Number one is called Facebook Messenger, that is for online chat, IECC Scalable. Number three, the Everything IoT platform use MQTT as an M2M protocol for millions of connected devices. And October 8, 2015, Amazon Web Services announced Amazon IoT based on MQTT and even the OpenStack upstream infrastructure use MQTT as a unified message bus between services. So this is the official website and the latest version is 1.4.10 which was released on 25th of August 2016 on Thursday. So here are some of the features you can find more regarding on the website. So now let us dive into our Raspberry Pi 3. As you can see that I have already connected my Raspberry Pi 3 to my Ethernet and I have only installed Raspbian Jesse, the latest version on Raspberry Pi 3 and we will be starting with the commands. So the first command is known as sudo apt hyphen get update so we will use this command in order to update the system so after the updating of the system what we have to do is to update the system repositories so the first thing is to do is to update the repository because unless or until you have not updated the repository the Mosquinto server will not be able to install so at the end we will be using two terminals in order to communicate the message from uh, terminal 1 to terminal 3 so that client to client connectivity can be there. So you can see that the update has started. So depending on your net connection it can take some time. So you can see that all the repositories are being updated. So now we are good to go. So now let us copy this. Let's clear this and now let us copy this 
and press enter with this we have installed the jpg key now what we have to do is to get the key and add the key of moskin to repository so it is okay so now what we have to do is to update the sources list and now what we have to do is to download a repository let's copy this and let's paste so it has been downloaded and now what we have to do is to update the system so sudo apt hyphen get update so you can see that the Moskinto is being updated and now what we have to do is to just give this command that is apt hyphen get install Moskinto so here is the Moskinto repository which has been installed So let's give this command sudo apt hyphen get install moss quinto. So now you can see that it has been uh, installed and it is about 136 KB of archive. And now what we have to do is to install the three more parts of moss quinto. So let's copy this. So you can see that it is setting up moss quinto, which is the latest version 1.4.10. So let's copy and paste this command. So these are the three things which we have to update. So let's stop the server after that because we have to make some changes. So let me clear first of all. So it is stopping the Moskinto service. So now what we have to do is to configure and start the Moskinto server. So first of all let us copy and paste this command so that we can make some changes to this file okay so it will look like this okay so now what we have to do is to go down the topic and persistence location so we have to type this from here So let us delete this. Okay. So now let us copy paste this to this. So till this we have to copy paste. And let's paste. So control X, yes, and press enter. So everything goes fine. And now what we have to do, we have to restart the server. And it is okay. Now at terminal one, this is terminal one and now I open terminal 2 by again putting up one connection so let us log in with pi and raspberry so this is terminal 2 and this is terminal 1 and now what we do we just go to terminal 1 and we type this in command so let's see the magic so it has been received and on terminal 2 we just type the following so you can see that hello from terminal 2 is coming so which means that it is called the message to message communication so in this video I have demonstrated how to install Mosquinto server and to enable communication from one terminal client to another terminal client this is terminal 1 and terminal 2 so I hope that you will use Mosquinto server in your projects in this video this is enough so I hope you like this video share with your friends and do give this a shot thank you so much for listening